Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electric, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Cafe Moto Go from Electra. Let's go! Thanks for watching Electra. The Cafe Moto Go is a beautiful look at what an electric bike can be. Classic styling, smooth lines, an aggressive look, and smooth as butter to ride. Oddly enough, this strange combination actually makes for a really fun bike to ride, although on paper it seems like a strange brew. With a smooth drive system like this, it makes you wonder why it's equipped with a speed motor and high-end parts. Also, that pedal assist action with no option for a throttle isn't the first choice for a cafe racer style seating position. With some clever geometry, it all comes together, but I do have one qualm. Mechanically, this bike is oh so smooth. First up, it lacks a chain and it pedals along with a smooth Gates carbon belt drive. If you haven't tried one yet, they are fantastic. They smooth out the ride, make it less jerky. With that, instead of a traditional derailleur, you're looking at an Enviolo internally geared hub, which has a smooth band of tension and never chunks gears into place. Now this is hyper smooth. Now add to this the small things like the large platform pedals, the genuine leather saddle, and laid back geometry, all of it rocking really plush tires to carry it all around. Real quick, the bike includes some awesome accessories, such as the classic headlight, stylish and functional fenders, a very well integrated rear light, and this cool looking leather saddlebag. But before we get into the electrical, let's talk a bit about the riding position. The bike is made with Electra's laid back geometry that they call flat foot technology. Now, pretty much it means that the bottom bracket is placed pretty far forward from the seat, allowing the rider to easily get their feet flat when they come to a stop. Now, also, this means that they can offer a decent leg extension for a bike with seemingly no range at all. Like most cruisers, this bike is not made for long hauls for days at a time pedaling, but for the quick jaunts, it offers a good balance of leg extension and livability with short stops. Now, let's get to the electrical aside. The Cafe Moto Go is rocking a Bosch Performance Speed Motor, a simple Purion display that keeps the handlebars nice and clean, a 500 watt hour power tube battery, and also a locking mechanism for the battery that is really snug, my personal preference. Now I like Bosch systems, but it's up to the bike company to make the choice as to which motor to use. And in this case, they chose the speed motor. And if I were making the bike, my first inclination would be the regular motor. Now why not have the speed, you ask? Riding around at a comfortable pace for myself, I didn't reach the 28 mile an hour top speed that was advertised. I really had to push it. I felt like I had to spin my legs like the Roadrunner in order to trick the electric system into actually reaching 20 miles an hour only for a tiny bit. Now the alternative to the speed motor is the 20 mile an hour Bosch systems. But honestly, I feel like the 20 mile an hour Bosch systems kind of have a wall effect when you actually do reach 20 miles an hour, which is very easy on this bike. Now those systems can really hamper the smooth feeling that I think Electra is going for. And if you're looking for a fast motorcycle experience, then this bike isn't it, even though it kind of looks like it. I don't have a whole lot of complaints about the bike, and I think that if you're looking for a fun and smooth ride, something to make heads turn, and you want to have that quality touch points that everyone wants to try, I think you're in the right place. If you want local support, and you like to swing some major brand name lumber, you're also in a good spot, but get ready with $4,499 and 99 cents. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Electrek, and I've gotta go.